Hello, I'm Michele and today I'm going to show you how to beautifully mess up your illustration like a pro. Tip number one is take your brush fully loaded with ink and drop it on your illustration. If this is your first time watching my videos, hey, I'm Michele and normally I'm careful with my illustrations. But today the brush was too heavy or my hand gone numb, I don't know what was going on. If you're working on a project or drawing for a client, you will have to start over again with a clean illustration. But for the sake of this tutorial, because I'm trying hard to keep up with my upload schedule, I decided to go on with the drawing and at the end of this video I'll show you how I try to save it. And this is my seventh dress in the series from the movie Titanic. If you are curious about my illustrations on roses gowns, you can check them out here. I decided to use drawing inks because I had the perfect matching colors for this costume. The special thing about this illustration is that I'm mainly working from dark to light. My first approach was to lay down the mid-tones and then add shadows and highlights. The velvet jacket and the silk skirt are in deep blue shade. I used ultramarine blue and completely filled them in. For the purplish blue satin accents and the cuffs of the sleeves, I picked out a violet shade for the mid-tones. In my second step, I used black marker for the shadows of the velvet jacket, as the ultramarine ink was quite dark. For the violet satin, I used blue marker for the shadows to soften the purplish tint. For the reflections in the velvet fabric, I've chosen a light blue pencil because it's best suited for the grainy texture of the velvet highlight. For the satin, I used opaque white paint. If you see that there need to be more contrast in certain areas, you can always go back with the dark color and deepen the shadows. For the shawl, I used Copic markers and colored pencils in light beige, ochre brown and tan colors. The inks I have are by Winsor & Newton, they are drawing inks which are fast drying, transparent and can be mixed with each other. The problem in my case of dropping the brush on the paper was that they dry water resistant. Let's go back to the fabrics. The flying dress is a blue silk satin and velvet dress with kimono style sleeves and the classic Edwardian hobble skirt. Velvet is soft and rather absorbs light than to reflect it. If there is a reflection, it should be very subtle and always on the edges of the fabric. Silk satin, on the other hand, reflects a good amount of light and has deep shadows. Velvet is dull with less contrast between the shadows and highlights, whereas satin is shiny with strong contrast and highlights appearing pure white. The last step is to add the details on the dress like pearls, beads and embroidery. I bought two dotting tools in different sizes, which I thought are very useful in cases of adding pearls and floral embroideries. And now I'll just speed up the process. At the end I applied masking fluid on the edges of the figure to protect the colors of the dress and added a lot of randomly placed dots on the background. My intention was to use the dotting tool to add ink drops to the background and use spray bottle with water to make them bleed. The areas covered with masking fluid won't be affected by the bleeding ink 
or the water and the masked out dots will stay white. Ok guys, what do you think? Was this emergency project a success or a flop? Please comment down below. I hope this video can inspire you to create something awesome. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every single Thursday. Bye guys!